this lecture how we can update or access a property of an object using dot as well as bracket notation so let's get into it so let's continue with our previous example which we had in our last lecture so first thing first let's see this in console even if i console log this object it won't surprise you much because because you will be getting the same thing which we are seeing here the only difference you will notice here is the order is a little changed of the keys which we have defined here right now we have defined first name last name job age friends but it is showing age first name friends job last name the keys are sorted in alphabetical orders so that is why i mentioned in the last lecture the order of the keys in an object doesn't matter because at the end we are going to access these values with these property names directly okay so let's access few of the values with the help of dot notation first So to access some property of an object using dot notation, all you need to do is you just need to add a dot here in the object and then simply call the property whichever you want. Okay. And then you will get to see the value of that particular property of that object. So if I console log it, then as you can clearly see, we got our first name in the console okay so this is how easy it is to access a property with dot notation okay so now let's uh, try to access it with the help of bracket notation so if you want to access some property using bracket notation let me write it here as well And its syntax will be like this okay so if you want to access the property of an object using bracket notation all you need to do is you just need to add a square bracket and then single quotes or double quotes it's up to you and then the property name which you want to access of that object okay so let me show you that as well let's try last name this time All right, so here we got our last name with the help of bracket notation. Okay, so this is how we access properties with the help of dot notation and bracket notation. So now uh, let me show you one more thing. In case you are trying to access some property which doesn't even exist in this particular object, then let's see what happens. So this time I'm trying to access some random property. For example, birth year, let's say. Okay. So as you can clearly see, we don't have any property named birth year in this Ronak data to object. Okay. And if I log this value, then as usual, we will get undefined because it never find and value for this particular key okay so same works with bracket notation as well if i try to access some property which is not there in object using bracket notation then it will give us undefined as usual okay so let me paste it here for your reference okay so now these are the two ways with which we can access the properties 
So what is the basic difference between these dot notation and this bracket notation? So the difference is if you uh, know the property name of the object like so and so are the properties of an object. So you can go ahead with the dot notation because it is straightforward and you just need to uh, use your property name followed by this dot okay to get the value of that property but if your property is coming dynamically or you want to pass some computed value uh, to get the value of that property in the object in that case we use bracket notation because in bracket we can pass the computed value as well computed value in the sense uh, the expressions which return some value so let me show you an example of that as well can it should be can pass computed value in brackets okay so let me show you an example of that so here we wrote this name uh, directly instead of writing it directly let's uh, create some expression so let's say const name oh sorry name key equals to since we have this name in common for first name and last name then we can use this thing name and then what we will do we will use this variable instead of hard coding it here okay so we have used this name key and then plus whichever key we want to find for example if we want to find first name then all we need to write here is first so this is our computed value I know we can also write a template string for this but that is not required for this small example okay so now let's see what happens here okay so we got our first name which is coming from line number 276 which is coming from this line so here what we did we have passed some computed value so this brackets saw this name variable it went there and it replaced this variable with the actual value and then it concatenated name with this so it worked something like this first sorry first and then it concatenated it with name okay so then um, it went inside this ronak data 2 object to get the key name first name and it found some value for that first name it returned that value that is what we can see in the console clearly okay so to make this example more clear to make uh, to show you like why uh, we need square brackets in order to pass the dynamic value let me show you this thing first with the dot notation so if we try to access it using the dot notation let's see what happens okay so i'm using actually we can pass it here directly instead of birth here okay so instead of birth here let's copy paste see it is not even allowing you to do such things okay even if i run the code uh, even if i ignore the vs code error and still i run the code then you will get the error in the browser console itself that is unexpected string so you can't pass the computed values uh, to access the property using dot notation okay so to 
pass the computed value to get the property you need to use bracket notation and for simple key access you need to use this dot notation okay so let me show you another example this will make it more clear okay so let's use the prompt which we have used in our starting lectures So prompt is a JavaScript function which basically shows you an alert window with some input field if you remember. Okay. So here what we will do, we will ask user to pass some input. Okay. What, oh sorry, what you want to know about Ronak. Choose from the following. So, okay. So, what we need uh, a user to input first name last name job and then you can say age and what else we have friends okay okay so we asked the user to choose from these following fields in order to get the value for this particular uh, Ronak data object. So first store it in some variable and console log it. Let's say query key and then let's console log it first. query key so now if I refresh it we got our alert window along with this input field okay so here we can use age or friends let's say okay I pass friends and then okay so it logged uh, us that input which we entered there in that window okay it is coming from line number 283. So we got our key which we want to access dynamically. Now let's try this key with both the dot notation and bracket notations. Okay. So let's go with bracket notation first. So as usual inside of brackets all we need to do is we just need to pass this variable. So what it will do, it will replace the variable with the value which it is stored in, which is it is storing, that means friends and then replaced with value and then uh, this bracket will try to find that property inside of this object. So right now we have uh, friends which is storing array of friends okay so the expected thing is we should get this array in the console so let's see okay we have to write friends again here okay and yeah here we got our array of friends because this variable got replaced with the friends key which we just now passed in the input and then uh, this bracket accessed that friends key inside of this Ronak data to object so it found that key here and then it returned the value which was there in that key okay so now let's try it actually move this prompt a little bit up so we can try it with the 
dot notation as well okay so we have moved it here so now it's time to use it with the dot notation query key okay so right now what we are doing is whatever value it will store we are trying to access using this dot notation so let's see what happens okay so this time let's say friends again so you won't get confused so we are passing friends again let's see what happens okay so we got undefined which is coming from line number 273 where we have used our query key why is it so since we have used the dot notation it won't allow us to pass the computed value okay so it is simply trying to access this key it is simply trying to find this query key inside of this object just like it is some property written inside of this object okay like this but it never found any such property inside of this object so it returned as undefined okay so i hope you guys are super clear now in which scenarios we use dot notation and in which scenarios we use bracket notation okay so now this is about uh, accessing the properties using dot and bracket notation now let's manipulate some values of these properties let's see how we can do using dot notation first so in order to um, change some value of an existing property for example let's say ronak's first name i want to change so what i need to do is all i need to do is raga okay so it will replace this raga from ronak for the first name and if i again console log it then okay this pop up window is again coming okay so we got raghav here now okay which is coming from line number 283 which is i think this line okay so it is coming from this line right so oh yeah here is our first console i was looking for this one only it is coming from line number 277 so it gave us uh, we tried to access first name now it gave us rakav instead of ronan because we have updated the value of this property okay so same we can do with the bracket notations as well as you might have already guessed all we need to do is ronak data and then square brackets and then first name keep it in a string and then we can use whatever name we want right now we want yash okay so let's see what happens if we try to query this first name let's move this log down below so what i did is i used i pressed option and down arrow okay to move this down and you can do it using up and down also if you want to move it up or down according to your need okay so now what i am doing is let's console comment this console and uh, this one also and let's comment this annoying prompt also okay so now the last log we are uh, logging is 
the first name which we have just now said yash okay so let's see okay so here we got yash instead of ronak because we have updated the value of the first name and since i told you already you don't need to hard code the value you can pass any expression so even if i use this expression instead of this it will work just fine okay let me show you that as well first name plus key so still we are getting yash which is coming from line number 287 which is this line so this is how we update some value you of an object using square brackets means bracket notation and dot notation okay and let me show you one more thing about this dot and bracket notation suppose you want to add a new key inside of this object so how we can do that let's see that first with the help of dot notation so if you want to add a new key all you need to do is you just need your object you just need your dot symbol and then you just mention whatever key you want to add in the object for example i want to add birth year and birth year let's say for example 1989 okay so now if i console log this object so we will be seeing this object with a new property called birth year okay if i refresh it here is our object with a new property inside of it that is birth year okay so in starting we never had that birth year field we have added it dynamically using this dot notation so let's try some other field using this bracket notation okay so here let me write it instead of birth year i want to add age last name job birth year what we can add in this okay so let's add a job type for this okay job type so here yeah, i am adding w f o that means work from office obviously it's not a covid time so most of the people are moving to office so i think it's a great example okay so job type i have added a new field okay i need to use square brackets here yeah so this way we can add a new field of an uh, in an object using square brackets okay so let's console log this whole object again let's copy this one yeah so if i console log this object again then you will see that those two new keys that is um, birth year which we have written here somewhere yeah birth year let me actually write the comment as well new field property okay and same thing i will copy here yeah so now if i refresh the page then you will see those two new keys that is birth year and then job type okay so this is how we add um new properties using dot notation and bracket notation okay so let's do a little exercise to see what we have learned so far so i wanted to 
let's take it as a many challenge okay i want you to create a string something like this born in 1989 and his his age is um, let's say 33 and then sorry yeah here also 1997 okay his age is 33 and he he has total three So far, his best friend is his best friend is, let's say, Roy. Okay. So I want you to create a string, something like this, but not with the hard coded values. I want to you I want you to use dynamic value for this one this one this one this one and then his best friend is Roy and this one also okay so you can pause this video and a few after a few minutes we'll see the solution okay So I hope you guys might have figured it out or if not, then it's not the point of worry. Let's build it together. So what we can do is we can create a variable for this. Temp string, let's say, and we will use this template details. Here what we will do we will use this Ronak data to object Ronak data to dot first name okay since we have Ronak in the first name and uh, let's comment these two out where we have changed the first name so they won't create an issue is born in let's take it from this string itself space and then birth year so birth year we have stored here somewhere okay so ronak data 2 dot birth year this we can take is born in ronak dot birth year And then and his age is let's copy it from here okay or actually let me put it here so you guys can see it and his age is 33 so we need to get the age where we have the age here So again, what we have to do is Ronak data two dot as VS code already started suggesting us age and he has total. Let's copy it from here and he has total three friends so far. So friends where we are getting from, we are getting it from this array, right? Here inside of this friend property, we have uh, this array of friends 
so how we can count the number of friends which is stored inside of this friends array you might have already guessed we need to use the length property okay so ronak data to dot friends dot length and you can chain multiple dots to access the nested properties okay so that is not a point of worry at all uh, and i'll show you the example of this nested thing as well so you don't need to worry and you can already see this length is also a sort of property of this array right this is an array and uh, we are accessing the length property of an array okay so let's complete our string first and is best friend so far and his best friend is roy again that dollar symbol and curly braces actually copy this whole thing yeah friends and uh, let's see at what position we have roy it's 0 1 because you know the array start with array is a zero based index thing and we have already discussed why it is zero based so we will access the first position in order to get the second element we need to use the first index because it, its index is zero its index is 1 so friends at position 1 and now finally let's console log our string okay so here is our template string ready to go if i console log it you can see ronak is born in 1997 and his age is 33 and he has total 3 uh, okay so i think we have missed friends from somewhere three friends i have missed apologize for that three friends so far and his best friend is roy okay so whatever we have expected we have successfully built that string together okay so congratulations guys you have already achieved a milestone after learning these kind of crazy stuff so now it's time to show you the nested thing which i was discussing about the uh, the objects right so suppose right now we have an object that is fine so let's add another object inside of this object okay so let's say ronak data 2 dot mm -mm -mm. games okay and we will store another object inside of it i uh, will say first game say boxing and then second game or instead of games let's use hobbies that will be more good actually first hobby boxing second hobby reading books okay so we have stored another object inside of this ronak data object okay so now what we are going to do is we are trying going to try to access the property inside of this object let's log this first and let's see what is the final result of this object now ronak data 2 sorry i wrapped it inside of this string okay so if i refresh it again here 
we have got our final object along with the hobby scheme where again we are storing these two properties so now in order to access these two properties all we need to do is either you can use dot notation hobbies right hobbies and then again a dot to get the first hobby okay either you can use this dot notation you can change this dot notation and then let me remove this so for your reference you can see this object okay so now we got the boxing so same way we can do with the help of bracket notations as well or you can use those bracket notations and square uh, dot notations interchangeably or together as well that is totally fine so here i'm showing you an example of how we can use these two together okay and then i will show you how you can use bracket notations for nested things first hobby let's take uh, second hobby now second hobby uh, which is this one okay so if i console log we got our first hobby which is coming from this dot notation nested dot notation nested in the sense we are trying to access an object which is already nested inside of an object which is there inside of an object okay so the second hobby we are getting from line number 318 which is coming from line 318 okay here and let's quickly see another example of using bracket notations for both the places so we will remove this dot and let's console log the first hobby again okay so this is how you guys can uh, access the nested properties as well you can use them together or you can use whatever way you want